So the Easter 2022 Waterford Hunt race has com commenced with this four-year-old maiden sponsored by Tattersalls and the runners are coming to the fence to which you'll jump three times, 13 fences all told to take and all over the first safely and as they pass the judge they've got two complete circuits of the track awaiting them. Prominent through the early stages is I've Got the Power up there for Luke Murphy with Mikey Sweeney and catching butterflies alongside there one and two and a bad very bad mistake there by I've got the power but Luke Murphy managed to scramble his way back into the saddle and the partnership have survived that mistake and now they come back up to share the lead so I've got a, got the power back in an even keel has taken the lead once again from catching butterflies up there in the third spot just in behind on the inside is meet me at the pillar and James Hannon alongside him is Johnny Hurley and right back at you Next up then, we have uh, in about fifth place, your 7-4 to four favourite of the off, Chris O'Donovan and Bill Jack. So as the field now wheel into the back straight for the first time, three fences on this section of the track to be taken. And after a pretty quick start, the tempo has relaxed a little bit now. And jumping that one better than the previous fence was I've Got the Power, who controls the tempo in front here followed in second by catching butterflies right up there in the brown and white hoops is right back at you who's in third along with him is bill jack in fifth position is meet me at the pillar and this group of five then have a break of four lengths over the gunner who is then or the gunner who's alongside midfield with the second favorite in the orange silks which is uh, warm and gory Back then, about four more lengths to the, to the O'Rourke pair. They are uh, Chosen Templar and Slaney Opera in a colour change. This one in an all red jacket. After that one, now over the next fence, about three from the uh, tail of the field is Dan's Lariat and Shane O'Rourke. Second last is Master McShine and the one who jumped out to the left there and lost a few uh, lengths at that fence was Mr. Twist. But they've all got round the first five fences safely and now they'll swing back towards the home straight once again. They've covered well over a mile and despite that blunder at the second, I've got the power, has regained his momentum and leads this field along. Bill Jack has moseyed through into second position in the hands of Chris O'Donovan. On his outside then, in a share of third position, is right back at right back at you and meet me at the pillar so they'll take this fence which is obscured from the camera view so i'll have no idea what's going to fall at this fence today but we'll pick them up and they come back in division after jumping it so away from that fence and bill jack has now moved up on the outside for chris o'donovan to share the lead with in second place is I've Got the Power. So coming to the fence, which will be last next time round, it's seven from the finish. And I've Got the Power, Bill Jack, right back at you. We've lost one there when lying in fifth, meet me at the pillar, crumbled and landing and uh, came down. Quickly on his feet, the horse, just waiting for James Hannon, who also gets up quickly. So into the final circuit, about a mile and a quarter to cover. Six more to jump, and as they come to this next one, Bill Jack alongside with I've Got the Power, Luke Murphy, Chris O'Donovan, one and two. Three lengths back to Johnny Hurley on right back at you in the third position, and then a further four lengths to in fourth and fifth places are the Gunner and Warming Gory. As the field begins to be stretched out back in sixth, making a few places now is Master McShine for Paddy Corkery's team. And he in turn is followed by the O'Rourke pair who are Slaney Opera and Chosen Templar. Uh, one who's tailed off at this stage out the rear is Dan's Lariat. And it looks as though a couple also out of the contest include catching butterflies and pulled up towards rear was Mr. Twist. So into the back straight for the final time. Three fences down this side and two in the home straight to go. So this is the fifth last. And I've got the power. Bill Jack will take off just in front here from Warming, Warming Gory, who's moving up into a close fourth on the flanks of the third place right back at you. So coming to the middle one down the back straight, four out. 
Bill Jack has gone to the front from on the outside, right back, back at you, who's moving up for Johnny Hurley menacingly. Just niggle along on the inside in third place in the green jacket is uh, I've Got the Power. Not too far away are the Goner and Warm in Glory, who look to have every chance four and five, and they've drawn clear from Master McShine, who's shaped okay, but isn't being knocked about uh, and beaten at the moment in six, followed through in turn then by Slaney Opera and Chosen Templar. This is the third last, Bill Jack. I've Got the Power. The Goner makes good swift headway into second place now as dropping away is I've Got the Power. So it is Bill Jack, Chris O'Donovan by two lengths from Brian Lawless in second on the Goner. Now ridden in third is right back at you and then I've Got the Power and in behind these just going along in fifth and the last one going is uh, Warm and gore, Gory but he's under heavy pressure so it looks a duel now and it is Bill Jack about to turn into the home straight with a three length advantage from the Gunner they've gone clear from right back at you so it's a two horse war now to the finish it's going to be a slog in these conditions for these young four year olds and out in front is Bill Jack for the Declan Quealy yard, but the gunner now is coming up there from Matty O'Connor's team as they come now to the second last fence. There's not much between them. Bill Jack under pressure, the gunner launching a strong bid on the outside. They should be jumping the second last just about now. And as they come on the run to the final fence, Bill Jack has got over the second last and he's half a length down on the gunner and the gunner now beginning to assert. So the gunner and Brian Lawless begins to draw on now by three, four, five, six lengths. This is a nice performance from the gunner as he comes down to the final fence and he completes his mission with a fantastic jump at the last and the gunner pulls away for a 12 length success and wins like a smart individual. Bill Jack went down and he soared in second and the rest of them cried enough before the second last, so just the two finishers, and they were the gunner beating Bill Jack. The result of the first race, first number 44, second number 27. The winning distance was 12 lengths.